Well, tomorrow, Texas is one, uh, once again going to become the center of attention, at least politically. Former President Donald Trump is going to be campaigning for his old job at a rally in Waco. Our political reporter Jack Fink spoke with a North Texas supporter who is going to make the trip down south to see him and also has reaction from Democrats. Oh, I am fired up. I'm fired up. Monica Sudemeyer says she can't wait to attend former President Donald Trump's rally in Waco, where organizers are expecting 15,000 people. She believes President Joe Biden's policies have hurt the country. I think that President Trump is the only leader today who can make that change happen and get our country back on track again. Trump's rally comes as Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg is reportedly investigating him for allegedly falsifying business records to hide campaign finance violations that are tied to payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels. Trump has denied any wrongdoing. I think it's phony and I pray that it will never go forward. In a statement about Trump's rally in Waco, the chair of the Texas Democratic Party, Gilberto Hinojosa, said, quote, Donald Trump's brief presidency was a disaster for hardworking Texas families, and we as Texas Democrats are confident that if he is the Republican nominee in 2024, our state will reject his failed vision. Not everyone who has previously supported and voted for Trump has him at the top of their list now. Jeremy Bradford, a Republican political strategist and former executive director of the Tarrant County Republican Party, prefers Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. I think he has the, the ability to reunite the Republican Party um, after the divisiveness that has happened over the past several years. Trump remains ahead in national Republican primary polls, but the Texas primary is nearly one year away. Jack Fink, CBS News, Texas. And just so you know, tomorrow's rally is going to take place at the Waco Regional Airport. CBS News, Texas will be there. Rally begins at 5 o'clock. You can watch for live coverage on CBS News, Texas, and coverage online, of course, CBSTexas.com.